Good morning, everyone. Uh, well, today in Florida, it's starting to drizzle a little bit, but it's not enough to really be too concerned. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to be working on the truck bo or the boxes underneath the bus right here. Uh, I'm going to grind, 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 all that stuff, and then up underneath, there's a little bit of a rustiness going on. So I'm going to take care of that and then seal it all up. I got pour 15, so I'm going to coat the whole inside. I'm going to fix some of these uh, latch deals, a little bent. So I'm going to straighten those up. Uh, wire wheel, sand all that stuff off there to there. And then my plan, it probably won't be this weekend because I got to let the pour 15 sit uh, for a little bit. But uh, I'm going to mask it off here. And then I'm going to pour 15 all the way out to here because of this stuff right there. Um, and then I'm going to use uh, a tintable truck bed liner. It's called Raptor from uh, U-Pole. We use it at work and um, the stuff is amazing. And it really, really puts a nice coat on, a little, little texture on it so it's not like overbearing where it's like, oh, you're going to cut yourself, but enough where uh, it's just real rugged and it's tintable. So that's, I'm going to tint it the same color as the bottom of the bus, which is teal, and that's where we're going to go for. All right, uh, let's get going on this and see how we go. So, busing companies, I guess, figure Bondo is the best way to hide something <laughs> um, because it's all kind of crappy. It just kind of tells you that Bondo actually holds a lot of moisture in it and unfortunately in a corner area like that, that's really not what's needed. Um, but I get it, you know, if they don't want to invest money into remetalling it or whatever. But anyway, so just a little heads up, it looked fine, but once you start grinding on it, you see all the bubbling rust all behind it and I got to scrape all that out. Um, so there's the back so far I'm knocking it all down and then I'll reseam it all through there and all through here and there and then uh, they put metal tabs on this so the door would shut better uh, that's odd um, so instead of just kind of tapping that out a little bit so the so the latch would actually make a nice positive seal they decided just to add more material to it. It's like, okay, no problem, we'll fix that. Um, but like I said, I'm grinding it all down. That's about 10 minutes right there. Um, and I'm just using one of them flapper wheels. Uh, this is a four, four and a half inch one because it fits on my little baby Ryobi here. And then I've got these little punks, puncture little holes right back there. Actually, they're not holes, they're just they just swelled up metal. So I'm going to see what's going on behind there. It just looks like, kind of like right there, which is just uh, like where it's welded underneath. And they just, just got lumps in it. Maybe from warping from the heat. I don't know. So, uh, it's still drizzling. But uh, we'll be alright. Alright. So we ended up taking the door off. I had to take it off anyway to fix it and change out the piano hinge. Um, but what we have is right here where all the supports are to hold the box. Now I guess after time and crap just got behind there, they decided to go through it and that's what we have. I'm going to pour 15 that whole section and then I'll make new patch panels to put over that. But uh, we had to take off the hinge and the front door because of that. So. What we have here is just a hole right there. So <clears throat> I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut here, there, and there. Cut that out. Make a new panel that'll go like that. And then put that in. Um, I'm going to pour 15 at first. And then make the patch panel. Pour 15 in the back of the patch panel. And then uh, put her in place. So that explains why. These box, this box is the worst of all of them, uh, was getting moisture inside because it had a big hole. So that's where we're at. So we got the one off. It's just a regular piano hinge. Um, 
it was pretty bad anyway. And uh, that's where we're at. Okay. Hey y'all. So this is the piece that I cut out from the bottom of the box, storage box, that I gotta replace. It was pretty shot out. Um, so I measured out, so I'll need three extra inches on this, one inch on this. Uh, from here to here is eight, and then the bend in the box, and then from there down will be the rest. And then from here over to be the side. So here's the original piece, right there, and that's how big it needs to be. Actually from from here to here is eight inches. From here to here would be like ten, but it would only leave me a little bit left, so I'm just gonna cut the whole thing off. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna cut the piece out and then we'll go from there. So this is just a little bit of a video. I got this cool holder for the phone. Uh, Amazon, amazing. It works great. Um, the clicker to take pictures is good but it doesn't do one for video so i just have to hit it manually but anyway so here we go gloves safety glasses and then uh away we go do is I'm gonna bend it right here to give me my 90 and then after that I'm gonna test fit it in there all right I'll see you in a bit jig that I kind of make for bending metal um, I don't have a metal break this is what we got going on right here and I'll give you show you how to do it here how I'm doing it so all I'm doing pretty much is just, I'm holding this side and then bending this down and then I take my hammer. And that's pretty much how I bend my metal. Okay. And then I'll smooth up the front side here in my angle. my 90. That's how I do it. So we'll see how this fits and uh, and then go from there. Well the box fits. And there it is. So now I'm just putting in the Clicos just to hold it into place. So we got what's going on there. So I like it. 
So, all right. Here we go. Look at that, got all the grinding done, all the rust grind out right there. And oh yeah, I'm going for it. Take off the sides, I'm gonna do the whole frame as well. So here we go. And here we are. All pour 15, all the rust was ground out. Got all up in there too. There. And then my patch panel. I pour 15 the back side. I had uh, quite a bit of pour 15 left. And once you open that can, that's pretty much it. So uh, I did a little spot back here that I had a patch. And then I'm going to go inside the bus around the wheel wells. And a few few months ago back, I welded everything in and put panels. So I just started using the pour 15 on the floor, and uh, a whole quart did the entire inside of the box, that one patch panel, and then around my wheel well. Where it's shiny, obviously, is the fresh stuff. Right there. So I pretty much got accomplished today what I wanted to. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, we got everything done, like I was saying a minute ago, uh, what we wanted to get done today. So, I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I really thought it was going to be a two-day process, but it only ended up being one. Um, so, with that being said, uh, we are set for the day. Uh, going to start cleaning up and getting all that stuff taken care of. Uh, I've got quite a mess, it's just, you know, metal and stuff like that. So, uh, clean up the garage a little, clean the outside a little, and that's about it. Put my panels away. So, we are all set. So, until next time, have a great day.